Okay, hi again. We're going to continue with our exploration of the C++ language. Uh, in this video, we're going to move on to talk about some more data types, uh, other than just integers. We're not going to have kind of a goal uh, program to make like we did last time. Um, we're just going to be kind of talking about different ways that you can use data and different things that you can do with different types of data. So let's start out with talking about integers. Um, I have talked about them before, but I haven't really gone into depth about what you can do with them. So I'm, I'm going to talk about that here. Uh, you saw me do some math in the last video, which I realized I hadn't really explained. Um, hopefully you got it anyway, but if you didn't, I'll, I'll, I'll try to make it a little bit more clear here. Uh, you can do math with integers like this. C equals A plus B. So in this case, C would be 15. Let's go ahead and actually show these operations in action. I'm going to save this out as demo.cpp just because we're just going to be demonstrating a few different things. Oops, I forgot. Iostream and using namespace std. If you do get this error, C out was not declared in this scope and del was not declared in this scope. That um, that's because I'm I'm calling these objects, and uh, my compiler is uh, confused because it can't find those objects anywhere in my code, and that's because I forgot to include the header. So if you include that, it should fix that error. Um, so let, let's take a look now. And I've never recompiled. There we go. Okay, got 15. So C A plus B is going to be 15. Let's try the minus. Five, that's what we would expect. Multiplication, you can do as well. We have 50. And division, we should get 2, I believe. Yes, 2. So, simple uh, arithmetic. Uh, you can also use this other operator, which is called the modulus operator, or sometimes mod, which uh, is a percent sign, but it doesn't have anything to do with percentages. Um, what that's going to do is it's going to find the remainder of the division of these. So since these divide evenly, 5 goes into 10 exactly uh, exactly 2 times. Um, if we do this, we're going to get 0. But if B was instead of 5, like 3, uh, 3 is going to go into 10 3 times with uh, 1 left over. So we're going to get 1 for our, um, our uh, remainder here. It can be useful in some situations, but not nearly as useful as uh, addition or something else. But something to keep in mind. Um, some other stuff that you can do is if you wanted to do a equals a plus uh, like like three or eight or something like that, um, you can write it out as this. So let's go ahead and do that. I would expect eighteen, wouldn't you? Ten, a plus eight, eighteen. Excellent. Um, so this basically sets a to what a was before plus eight. Um, there's a little shorthand for this. Uh, instead of typing a equals a plus eight. You can just type a plus equals 8. It's going to be the same as a equals a plus 8. Um, so let's do that again. There we go, 18. Um, so something you can do. Uh, this works with all the other operators too. Uh, subtraction works just fine. And um, division and... Well, let's not do division, that'll be ugly. Division and multiplication work just fine as well. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. It, it will be used, um, so keep that in mind. There's another thing you, you can do to modify one variable, and that's using these plus plus operators. You can also go plus plus a. So a plus plus or plus plus a are both going to increase a by 1. So if we have a plus plus, it's going to go uh, 11. So this is... Uh, same as a equals a plus 1, which as you know is the same as a plus equals 1. Um, something to keep in mind, a plus plus and plus plus a, while they may appear to do the exact same thing, they can sometimes, in some situations, not be equivalent um, due to the order in which uh, the increment uh, incrementation happens. I'm personally not very comfortable with using these operators because of that order kind of discrepancy that can happen. So I really prefer to use 
a plus equals 1 uh, just when I have to increment something just because it's very clear to me that I want it I want this data incremented by 1 and I want it to I want that to happen and that way I don't have to worry about plus plus and plus plus a and that can just kind of confuse me personally but uh, you'll definitely see them when you look through some other code and um, you can use them yourself if you'd prefer I do sometimes use a plus plus uh, so it's just you know whatever you like to do in that situation so that about does it for integers uh, next I'm going to talk about a type of data that can use decimals which is the floating point type uh, it's declared with this float uh, name so float uh, a equals something like you know 5.6 and then float pi or something equals 3.14 uh, so you can do decimals like that and then all of the same things apply you can do um, you know a times pi you can do a plus pi divided by minus you could do um, a plus equals pi or times equals pi oops times equals pi you can do a plus plus a uh, or you can also do a minus minus I didn't mention that but that works with integers as well um, so you'll see that around uh, so all the same operators apply uh, it's just with decimals instead of whole numbers so obviously if I do um, something like a divided by pi or let's do float d equals a over pi and let's go ahead and see how d um, 1.78344 so there you go, that's the uh, 5.6 over 3.14 sounds about right, almost 2 um, so that can be useful when you're trying to write a program that needs to have that kind of um, level of accuracy or yeah uh, so if we had written our quadratic formula thing with floating point numbers we would have been able to use our zeros would have been decimals instead of these integer approximations um, which might have been nice it would have been a more helpful program in my opinion but at that point we hadn't covered these data types so uh, I went ahead and just used integers if you want feel free to as as a personal challenge rewrite that quadratic formula program with floating point numbers to see if you can do it um, and that, that could just be like a personal challenge if you don't feel like doing that it's fine don't worry about it 